Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing today? Welcome to Zombies Archives and today I'm going to tell you how to look at your score mid-game in World of War solo mode. Hopefully you guys will be excited about all of this and if you do, make sure to drop a thumbs up to the video and subscribe for all the juicy content that I will be uploading here in the future. But without too much thoughtless rambling, let's get to the bread and butter of this video. Alright, so for those who don't know, when you are playing zombies in any Call of Duty, you can press and hold tab, bag or select to look at the scoreboard, where you can look at the amount of points you got, kills, headshots and even more. When you are playing zombies in World of War in co-op, you also get to see this, however, when you are playing solo, you have no such luck. When you want to pop up the score screen here, you instead get this weird mission progress screen, which is entirely empty, because this is actually a screen that is reserved for the campaign in this game. So in zombies it is actually no real use, but more than 10 years have passed and some talented people in the zombies community have come up with a little mod that will solve this issue. So for the installation of this tool head over to your browser of choice and go to ugxmods.com. Make sure you have an account on this website because you only have privileges to download from this website when you do. But once you've done that, go to zombies map and then under world at war hit community mods world at war. Now on this page you want to find this topic right here world at war modification t4m so hit that take one of the download links to download this the file isn't too big but it is archived in a raw file so make sure you have either winrar or 7zip installed for this link for those tools down in the description and once you got this downloaded open the raw file now what i want you to do is open steam look for your world at war copy in your library click the little settings option highlight manage and then click on browse local files and now you have arrived at the root local folder of world at war if you don't have world at war on steam look for a similar folder in your program files in your c drive now all you need to do is to drag files into the root folder and that's it now you can boot up world at war load into any zombies game in solo and look at your scoreboard so hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did make sure to drop a thumbs up subscribe for more juicy zombies content in the future and hit the notification bell to stay notified about all of it and as always i will talk to you guys later